Mr. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, it's uh, a great honor to my country, to Italy, to be here today. Let me to thank the Federal uh, Democratic Republic of Ethiopia and the President of the General Assembly, Sam Kutesa, for hosting and uh, organizing this important conference. I also want to thank uh, to Secretary General of the United Nations, Ban Ki-moon, who has invited me to this conference a few months ago while we were together on an important mission on the Southern Mediterranean to personally assess the work done by our Navy, Italian Navy, to save the life of thousands of migrants from Africa who tried to cross the sea towards Europe. As Italians, we save human beings because we think because we believe in human values and because we respect every human life. 2015 will be, in the words of United Nations Secretary General, a seminal year for development. I fully agree with him. This conference is very important. It's the first, it's the first of a series of events that should change our vision of development. It should fortify our willingness to build a better world. Much was accomplished uh, with uh, the Millennium Development Goals agenda, and now we are elaborating a new framework for a truly sustainable, uh, sustainable development. But as we praise the progress achieved by the international community in the past decade, we are still confronted with a series of crises of economic social, political, environment nature. We are not there yet. I was boy, I was a little boy when uh, Millennium developed the goal of 2000 was the star, the key point for my little experience in politics. I started my experience in politics with a, inspired by the Millennium Development Goal of 2000. Now I am Prime Minister and I think this is more important than the past, because this is the point in which we can finally create a better world. And uh, we look to forward to a paradigm shift towards a new universal uh, transformative, integrated path of uh, sustainable development. We need to ask ourselves who is uh, lagging behind and whether the Millennium Development Goals agenda is truly fulfilled. Mr. Chairman, the reason, the reason why I came here, and I'm sorry for the delay, but uh, we spent a very interesting night uh, in Brussels uh, to save uh, uh, Euro and uh, to, to, to try to involve uh, Greek economy in the new strategy, so I'm sorry for the delay. The reason I, why I came here, because at this Abeba conference is the first step, I absolutely convinced about it, towards completing the Millennium Development Goals and the shift to a more ambitious paradigm of development. It's the first step, but most important than others. It's the basis of new global partnership, a new international deal where we put in common all of our resources, all of our experience, and all of our cultures in order to respond and win the important challenge we all face. The reason why I came here is because Addis Ababa is Africa, is the seat of Africa Union and hosts the United Nations Economic Commission for Africa. The Africa continent symbolizes the global development struggle, but it offers also a vision of, of potentialities of this struggle. It's here where we have to commit to solve problems to overcome difficulties, to find better ways to make the potentialities into turn realities. This is why I decided to be again in Africa for the second time in one year, first time for a prime minister in Italy. Because I think Italy could be a bridge, exactly the geography show, a bridge between Europe and Africa 
in the heart of Mediterranean, but in the face of the great potentialities of this continent. One more reason why I came here is because my country, Italy, knows what solidarity is about. It's confirming it every day, saving thousands of lives of migrants coming from the northern shores of Africa, ensuring first care, assisting them, giving them an opportunity and hope. But I'm sure the real challenge for us is not only save human lives, human beings. It's important. It's in our DNA. The real challenge is create jobs here, is create new perspective of, of hope here, it build a different vision of what is. These people, people without a land, as Pope Francis called them, these people escaping from a condition of poverty, of need, of conflict, of persecution, People looking for the better future we are building here, while we speak to each other. We widen our ties and we strengthen our cooperation. But we need to do more. We have to address the root causes, the force migrants to leave their families. We must invest in Africa, we, not only with the big companies, but above all with the small and medium enterprises. Italy is rich of a small and medium enterprise, and I think this is the only strategy for the next decades. My country has a great responsibility for the past, for the present, but we are absolutely committed to create a future together. In the last two years, we have increased the trend of our official development assistance. I am determined to continue in this direction. Italy will stand up to its international responsibility in facing the big challenges to human rights, security, and prosperity. And so the Italian government is committed to increase its uh, ODA and to strengthen its international development cooperation. The budget law for the next triennium, which uh, will be in the parliament in September, will contain a radical change in this direction because we wait for 2017 when Italy host and lead G7 in our country as one of the most important nations in G7 community in the ODA and in international cooperation. We hosted the last month not only event for the money in the ODA, but also above all in Expo in Milan, a ministerial conference of African least developed countries which adopt the Milan Charter. In October, once again at the Expo, we will organize in cooperation with the United Nations a ministerial conference of all the small islands developing states with a view to assessing the progress made since the Samoa conference last year, as well as a level event on the role of finance and innovation in stimulating investment and production in the agriculture, agri-food sectors with the overage goal of achieving food security and inclusive growth. And G7 will be the place in which in 2017, with the presidency of Italian government, we will show the first results in this direction. Mr. Chairman, I come to Addis Ababa also because we are facing an evolving and the new developed context. The world change, the world change and the challenge of finance development takes on new dimensions. Many countries have experienced extraordinary economic performance in the past years. But I think this is the moment in which we can invest in a new, differ, in a new difference, in a new strategy. The partner of cooperation need our advice, our technical guidance in tax collection, in planning of public spending, in industrial policies, in social policies, in organizing health systems in education, in creating conditions for granting access to food and water for all. An important area we can and we are willing to provide our experience is the stimulus to private sector investment and growth. We have a lot to offer in this direction not only for our system based on small and medium enterprise, but also because in uh, one of the new initiatives in this uh, field will be at a, 
establishment of Italian Development Bank, finally. And exactly in a, a side event, I will present in the side event of this concert, we present the new institution created within Casa Deposite Presidi, the International National Promotional Bank. Because we think this is the only way to support small and medium enterprise to invest in this direction with a strong determination. But let me be very frank with you. We need also a cooperation in the cultural, research, students, fine. I think this is the moment in which the global world is rich of young boys and young girls who believe in the same human values. And so if the world now is a world rich of potentialities for the new technology, we must invest in exchange of students in the cultural research, in the innovation for universities, in the exchange between the most important uh, academic and museums. I represent a great country in the culture. But I think the real challenge for this great country is not only remember the past, is build strategies for the future. It build opportunities for new generation. And this is very important in a place in which we discuss about cooperation. We cannot discuss about cooperation only in the traditional way, in front of new world. We must absolutely invest in the experience of international research centers. We also, for example, in Trieste, in Rome, in Florence, in Venice. There are a lot of cities in my country ready to work with your countries in this, in this field. I conclude. Mr. Chairman, I came here today also to give attention uh, in uh, the very important uh, new concrete international assistance. I'm referring to the last developed countries, which serve increased support to create the basic conditions for taking off their own development process. I'm thinking of small island developing states, which risk their very existence. I'm thinking of the countries in conflict situation which need international care if they want to succeed in eradicating extremism and intolerance, in refounding peaceful and stable societies. And uh, I come here also to recall every player of my country in this direction. The new Italian law of developed cooperation fully recognizes the diversity and the role of this broad range of development actors. For the first time in Italy, the Minister of Foreign Affairs is called Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation. For the first time in the history of my country. It's not only a change of name. It's not a phonetic revolution. It's a message for everyone. Mr. Chairman, going back to Secretary General definition of 2015 as a seminal year, I came to Addis Ababa also because we have to look at the future seeding hope. This is also the message that comes from the Universal uh, Exhibition Expo 2015 in Milan. The vast majority of the countries here represented are participating. The Expo 2015 motto was chosen more than eight years ago, eight years ago, feeding the planet energy for life was a visionary message, now is a contemporary message. We must absolutely invest in agriculture, in food, in lifestyle, in the different approach to life. This is the message of hope we are delivering here, and the same message Italy will bring at the summit on post-2015 agenda in New York in September, creating jobs to fight economic poverty but also invest in culture, agriculture, and education to give hope to the new generation. This is the mission for my country. This is the mission for Europe. Thank you so much.